Alright everybody, hi, welcome back to Midnight in Salem, episode 5. We are here, we have a can of WD-40, we got this AW key. There seems to be some kind of protest going on at the courthouse, so let's go check it out. Oh, I got a text. Me texting. Don't worry about it, thanks for getting in contact. Where can I find the museum? This is the fastest texting ever. We're on the opposite side of the town square from the courthouse, so we're here. I'll stop by. Cool. Talk to the judge and talk to Tegan in the museum. So it's Tegan. Hi. Okay. Oh. Guess I'm being forced to do what they want me Visitors, to do. Visitors, by now you know the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. They are alive and well, they are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual, mystery, magic. Most exist now only in secret, and they may be standing among you is it me? Am I a wizard in Harry? Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. That's so cool. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the witches of Salem, I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. So you and provide you too will see one of the rest self-guided tours. I get a pamphlet. Thief in Austria used the same kind of stage magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? A candle. What were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. You'd have liked it. Did you turn down the music? Regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum? Ginger hair was the sign of a witch. You're my kind of people. Was I'm that a copy book? Or was that the only are. one? Aw, shucks. You're making me blush. It was the only one. Why was it stuck in that room? Oh, there it is. <laughs> anyway, what can I help you with? Let's ask her about the trick. About the uh, smoke bomb. A witch never reveals her secrets. It's no, that's a magician. No, that's a magician. A code. I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Did you girls know that Salem is haunted? There's a ghost here. Just the one? If you go on my tour, you'll learn where you can find it. Just the one ghost in Salem. Darn, missed the opening hours. Better luck e shop, Cool. Oh, you just... is really chanting up a storm. What has them so angry? That group is really... Okay. We're inside the uh, courthouse now. But the, uh... Hey, what are you doing? Just snooping around. That's what I do. Judge Deirdre. She's not gonna bite. Uh, well, you don't know. Judge Danforth. Yeah. Hello. Ted? Yes. Is that you? Yes. Ted? Um, no, Your Honor. I sound like my a Ted. My name is Nancy Drew. I think you've spoken with my father. Nancy Drew? Carson's daughter? That's right. Yes. He didn't tell you about me, did he? with my friend Deirdre Shannon. We're investigating the arson of the Hathorn house. Ah, yes, yes. Can we come in? Well, you see... No, I mean, I'd let you in, but I seem to have been locked in my mm. office, and I, uh, <laughs> I need some help. Oh, sorry, he needs some help getting out. Um. Do you know where I could find a key to your office? Yes, I believe I gave a copy of the key to Alicia Cole as backup. Yes, can I help you? What up? Hi. Oh, so dear. sorry to bother you at this hour. 
but we're here to meet with Judge Danforth, and he seems to be locked inside his office. He said you might have a key. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him my spare. Oh. oh. Unbelievable. Does this ever end? <laughs> oh. Well then, do you have a paper clip? Yeah. And if you don't mind me asking, what business do you two have with the judge? We're helping the judge with a case. Anything I can assist you with? Thanks, but I think we got it. No need for a lawyer. At least, not yet. The diploma gave me away, huh? Aside from the cold coffee you're still drinking and the deluxe open box of sticky tabs, yeah. You could say I know- It's a huge diploma, really unless it's Matt. Nancy Drew, you really are your father's daughter. It's nice to finally meet you. You know my dad? Small world. If you need any assistance or- Carson knows everyone, eh? Feel free to ask. He's a golf ball. I will see what we do. Okay. This shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Old to drag pins. We got our, our first, like, real puzzle beyond the, uh, tutorial there. Alright. So, we drag, drag the pin with holding it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so after a little bit, I uh, figured out you gotta put it on there and then drag the pin itself. And release it when it locks into place. Okay, none of these are locking into place. What am I doing wrong? Okay. This one, I didn't push it all the way up. I thought I was supposed to push the head up into here. I can't push this one anymore. Okay, so it's locked into place. Ah. That one's first. <laughs> the feeling of this puzzle is not very good. So we're trying to line up this line, I guess. Come on. But you don't want to push too hard. Still got it. Efficient. How did you learn to do that, actually? Online video tutorial. Someday you have to tell me about your secret life of breaking and entering, Drew. Because you're in danger of being cool. Oof. Which, honestly, I just don't like. Someday. Deirdre and Nancy. Uh, so Deirdre has been in previous games uh, only in person once, I believe. Uh, and they are they are mortal enemies. They do not get along. Uh, Deirdre's a big crush on Nancy's boyfriend, Ned Nickerson. You can get a line, apparently. Ah, those protesters are out there again. Stirring the pot. You know, this town used to be a quiet place. It seems lately there's been an element that has infiltrated our community. I have no doubt one of those troublemakers locked my door and threw away the key. Now, Nancy. Definitely, definitely not very aloof. Also, my name is Ed. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I'm not Nancy. Of course you're not. You look nothing like Carson. Alright, how are you involved with the Hawthorne? The Hawthorne now? He wants to say Hawthorne. Daniel Hawthorne. We got this. Explain to us how you're involved with the Hathorn House. Well, yes. The house was built by Judge John Hathorn during the 1600s, and it represented the oldest surviving structure from that era. Judge Hathorn, of course, was one of the three judges that presided over the Salem witch trials. Yes, and that's I'm sure right. Read all about Hawthorne the changed his name because he was related to that well, guy, wasn't Francis he? Francis Tuttle, Judge Hathorn's last direct descendant. But Lived yeah. in a small section of the house while the rest was left to fall into considerable disrepair. She was alone, except for a part time caregiver, Lauren Holt, who had a bedroom in the carriage house. <clears throat> a few months ago, Francis Tuttle passed away, which left Hathorne House without a legal heir. According to the historical statutes of Salem, after 90 days, the house reverts to public property. The deadline which is two days from now, Oof. at midnight. Hey. So, how did Francis Tuttle pass away exactly? The woman was 88 years old. The coroner confirmed her death was of natural causes. 
So they never investigated Lauren Holt. You need the suspicion of foul play to investigate someone, young lady. We'd like to speak with her all the same. She still lives on the estate, although for how much longer we do not know. You can also find her in her shop, Luminous Infusion. Oh, okay. The tea place across the street? Talk to you. So the Book of Apologies. Why did you really need it? <clears throat> yes. And first of all, I'm so glad you're all right. Nasty business. Had I known you were going to be put in harm's way, I would have never called Carson and asked. Would we say that was harm's way? I've done oh, a thief? work for my father. Trust me. Miss True, before you go, there is something else I need your help with. You're not locked out of your car, are you? Oh, no. <clears throat> there was a... There was an incident here recently. Mm -hmm. Someone broke into the evidence room. Oh. Have you called the police? Well, no, not yet. I don't think anything was taken. Never mind. I'll, I'll call the police. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Now, one thing I want to keep in mind is, is that smoke bomb that she threw down. Could we find a can that looks like the canister that was used in Austria? Thanks guys so much for tuning in. Uh, this has been episode 5 of Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem from Her Interactive. I'm Gabby Bird with Path of Most Resistance and I will see you in the next episode.